good yeah exercises or pointers towards um questioning that this presence is limited and opening or opening the fertile ground for that this unlimited borderlessness and this or that mm -hmm. uh you uh, i remember that even we talked here and you were mentioning you were you're trying some exercises to verify that or what 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 do you suggest for that for just a non-dual peace to uh, bring closer the realization th that uh, this presence is uh, unlimited. Yeah, well, oh, that it's unlimited, that quality of it? Well, unlimited, which means borderless. Uh, yeah. Which means well, only one. Um, the way I always talked about awareness, I thought was very simple and direct and verifiable. Like if you close your eyes, um, determine what how the arisings happen on your own so just noticing you hear words or see them the mind is the voice in the mind so just tuning into that from awareness and hearing that as something that's arising you're awake to it pictures are the other part of the mind so just breaking it down i'll talk about the unlimited nature in a second but first what is it made of what, what is our experience made of words and pictures and then you could say in the body, energy or feeling and sensation. So a great degree, or if not all, of the limitation happens through the Velcro effect, through the mind and the body coming together to make it look like there's an object here or a boundary or something that isn't really here. It's always mind and body. Like if you could just sit here in pure presence for a moment without any thoughts or feelings, you would feel that sense of there's no separation, it would be very natural. But when there's thought and feeling there, it gives the sense of it. So look in your experience where it gives the sense of some sort of limitation or boundary. You have to kind of find where it is for you first. And I'll just go along with me, if play with me if you would. Maybe you don't notice that, but where might somebody notice it? Well, I, 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 I um kind of played with these things uh so it's loosen up but i know that people and i had this yeah it's me the body that is aware yeah like i don't think i mean even if there's presence there is i'm not thinking about borderlessness it feels like there's i am <laughs> this container yes which, oh, instead of being this container of the body is the container of uh, my limited awareness Okay, that's good. So some people might experience the body as a limitation, but yours like extends beyond a little bit, like a limited awareness. Yeah, like a limited awareness. Yeah, and okay. I can see what you are saying also because uh, I I had little something in my belly. I think I didn't eat, but mm, but if there's something in the belly that is psycho emotional energetic or somewhere, yeah, then that's some me there. Mm okay but let's but, go with the first thing that i said <laughs> yeah what was the first thing what was how'd you the, say the first thing is that the, the okay there is this presence but then yeah the limited awareness that, that is unlimited or that is maybe if i get hit with the two by four then I, that presence stops <laughs> right okay i got you um First of all, let's I'm just look, afraid. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, let's look at the words there. This that's low hanging fruit. Just the the can you hear the thought limited awareness and just let that be there for a moment with whatever energy is on it. That's the surface of it. Just let it be there. Awake to it non-judgmentally. It's happening to the awareness. You just let it happen. Yeah. And then be interested in the word the words until they kind of leave you and leaving the space whatever that is yeah and then when the words leave you let me know how you know the limited awareness still like where is it maybe it's energetic or something else
how do I still know it's limited? Mm -hmm. I, I don't, that's, that's the thing actually, I, I don't. Huh. And that's what in non-duality they say, like, well, okay, the, can you stay there that I don't know? <laughs> like, can you stay with not knowing? Mm -hmm. I don't need to know that's unlimited, but I need to know that I don't know that it's limited. <laughs> <laughs> well, where were you getting at in staying and not knowing? Is there something you wanted to bring up about that? Well, if you brought me to this, how do you know that it is limited and I, uh, I was like I don't know so that's the what they call in non-duality the not knowing right they value that it's precious not knowing yeah so I it's guess the thing is that I, there's a belief that it eludes me it's a belief that that I am inside consciousness is inside yeah it's okay <laughs> Let's let's do this. Let's let's look for it. So if you imagine awareness starting from behind the body, so you can peer inside, so to speak, the body directly, where is it? And that's not a trick question, like of course it's not there. It could be a felt sense or something. You know, you might not see something Fine. Fine. Like where, where is it? Yeah, yeah, where where is it? You're asking me, where is well, it? In it's in the body, so I'm putting it back to you. Find it. See, if it's there, find it directly well i mean i'm aware of some sensations but that which is aware of sensations is that limited in any way i don't i don't find limits yeah, but there's something here with the sensation where you're hesitant, feels hesitant around it. I just want to make sure that I'm mirroring back something that you're feeling. Because it's like you don't feel as confident with that. Am I just reading into that? It, it's like you're, because you can see a thought as a thought sometimes, but sometimes sensations are trickier. You know, it's like, do you feel that with that? Or does it feel? I was more like doing this thing, because um, I've done this process before, and people say, well, it's limited because I feel the sensations of the, my bottom on the chair. Uh, and then, but I know that this is like, okay, well, that's a sensation you are aware of. But okay. How do you know that that which is aware of the sensation of your bottom on the chair is limited? So I can go there and. Yeah, well, I mean, a simple thing is the mind, just in that moment, the mind creates it it's just like there's a butt here it's mine and it's on a chair and it creates it through the thinking so can you at least be aware of that like be aware of that description because if there really is a butt on a chair we have to find it outside of the description so just let the description be there first because it's not that that's not your butt that's a set of words yeah so that, and then as you let the words fall away look again and see if it still shows up that way. If it does, we'll deal with it. If you don't have the description, you have a sensation there. And what is that? Yeah, no, it's just sensation. And even that is a word. Uh, it's not a problem. But that's a good way to keep going through that investigation. Yeah. Like a real sense of it, where it feels like there's a limitation still. <laughs> 